say my dad brings me food and cigarettes every week. And that is honestly to go on. Not true. He can't afford to do that. He cannot. So he doesn't, he doesn't do that. He doesn't. I wish he would. He'll give me a pack here and there. Sorry. Sorry. No, it's okay. Did Jess drop food off to you though? A little bit ago. Um, today. No, not today. Like, like within the, like the last week. Um, not last week she did. We went. She came when I got out of Western Sight. She came. She did. She did that night, and I think two more times that same week. She, her, and Ronnie had come with the baby, and we went down to like the dollar store, and she let me pick out some stuff, and yeah, batteries and snacks, and so yeah. But ever since then, no. But she doesn't have to do that. It's on her obligation. But yes, yeah, she did. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. So you've seen the baby. Uh, yes, yes, yes. She's, oh my gosh, she looks just like my dad. She is my dad's twin. It's actually kind of scary. No, oh, that's sweet. I'm glad you got to, got the meter already. And stuff. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. So what are your plans today, Lisa? In this this mic. Um, well, I'm hoping to. Well, not hoping. I'm going to. By. I'll probably be gone around midnight. That's the plan. Okay. And I don't. I'm not going to announce it on TikTok because then, you know, all I'm going to get is, you know, which I I get why, but I'm all I'm going to get is you're lying, da da da, right? And plus, then when if something. Thing cannot happen because I have to be out of my house at 12.01 on Sunday. They can and are going to come and change the locks. You know what I mean? And I'm out. So, and my dad said I cannot come there unless I go to rehab first, which was the plan anyways, but it's like off the table. So, um, I, I'm going, I have to go and, um, it's all for the better, but yeah, that's, so that's the plan. Um, and that's it. So you mean like midnight tonight or midnight? Yeah. Okay. Tonight. It's supposed to be midnight tonight. Um yeah, and it's gonna be the it's supposed to be four hours there one way, but there's a two hour like layover they called it or something where you know you just they like switch buses or the bus driver takes like a break or whatever they do, right? And you're stuck at the the Greyhound station there for two hours. So so what, six hour total? Yeah, it'll be six hours total one way. Yeah. Well, I hope nothing falls apart. What'd you say, Rude? It's fine. Has anybody gone to program? By chance, or heard of it, and any friends that have went to it? Um, I didn't hear what you said, Lisa. Sorry. What was the name I'm of the sorry. program? Does anybody? And um, I'm going because said that they they said they would take me, but they think it's a safety issue because I had announced because I had said it on TikTok, which duh, like I didn't even think right. But they were blowing the phones up up there and shit, you know? So she said it's, it's a safety issue, the director. So um, I we went to a uh, villain from YouTube. She had gave her friend my number, and her friend was calling and texting. She said she was a, uh, you know, the person that helps people get into treatment. And uh, she found and said that she could pull some strings to get me in, and she did, so... Lisa, you know that you just said it here, and there's people here that will post what you just said on TikTok. Oh my, yeah, um, I, yeah, yeah, I Lisa. There's lots of people in here. Yeah, but there's definitely so. someone recording because when they come off mute, it echoes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, 
they're not going to not take me because of it, but yeah, I would rather them not blow the phones up, but um, shit. Sorry, but sorry, I didn't. I maybe didn't ask it. if they don't report this or post this, and so maybe they won't. They're honor your wishes. Yeah, I mean, I'd appreciate it because I'm trying. Really, I am, whether they believe it or not, to go, and I don't want, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah if you, if you could so. even believe <laughs> So I what know, is your I plan after to go ahead and follow through with sober living and yes, yes. Um I know up that way where um, Bay and White Deer Run where they all are, I know like I said that there's sober living right around there. There's like a big recovery thing, like it's a recovery community, not it isn't, but there's a lot of shit there, you know. So people went to their sober living and seemed to like it. And it's either that or my parents and it couldn't be too bad there if you get what I'm saying. So, well, Lisa, it's actually pretty interesting to talk to you just like this. I I really hope you do it this time. Um, I really do. So do you have somewhere to like store any of your shit that you want to keep, like photo albums and everything like that? Is your dad going to take it? Um, no, nobody wants to take it, but I understand why they don't. Um, I really don't even want to take it, but I, yeah, I don't want like the stock pictures of the kids. Like you can't ever get that back, that picture, you know? So, um, honestly, no, I don't know. A lot of it's going to be left, unfortunately. Um, but Okay. Can you get your sister or even somebody in the neighborhood to get you a box <laughs> that you I can at least, <clears throat> yeah. you know, put it together so that way it's easier to at least just transport grab, somewhere? Yeah. Yeah, just grab like the box of pictures and. You know, yeah, because I understand pictures. leaving pictures of your kids and your your loved ones behind that's I think that's going to set you back more than anything you're going to be concerned about all of the memories that you've just left behind rather than focusing on getting better which is like real talk like you need to get better and I've heard you say before like the treatment community is toxic and all these things like we're we're not toxic there are so many of us who are rooting for you, we're just not TikTok. I I agree. A thousand and one, ten thousand percent. I agree. And it's to the point where, you know, when and I know it's my own fault and I know I don't have to get on. Nobody's forcing me with a gun, you know, but it's I feel like I have to get on. I feel like, you know, I, I have to. And it's just like, and before I go on, I'm already pissed because I don't want to go on and I don't want to get called names and I don't want to be embarrassed. But I feel like I said, like I have to. So it's like, it's, 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 yeah, I agree. I, I need to get off TikTok because it's getting really bad. And one by one, everything's going, everything. And it just keeps going on, unfortunately. And I, 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 know, like, I'm, I don't, I don't want to interrupt anybody. Um, but I, I, if, if you want to stay on the internet, I, I think that that could be a possibility at one point. I think what you fail to realize here is that. We, we, we really do all care about you, Lisa, as a fellow human being. I don't agree with any of the choices that you're making at all. But as a fellow human being, I, my heart hurts for you so fucking bad because I know that you're fucking embarrassed every time you get up there and do that. I know. And what you need to understand here is that we are not hating on you. We are not you know, making fun of you, all of us here. I mean, as much as we talk shit, we still girl, we, we fucking care. And you have no idea how many people are rooting for you. If you took your TikTok, all these fucking people who know you, especially the fuckers who do come in and start hating on you and start saying bad shit to you. The best revenge that you can give to somebody is to show them that they're not, that you're not the piece of shit that they're, and I'm going to change it. 
and and people would donate every you know i'm not just talking about money but like people you have this huge community of people who want you to succeed is all i'm is all i'm telling you 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 have this platform now and, and i mean you got it that's entirely too much pressure to put on yourself you right don't now. need to a- right. at all at all no, you you're right. Like, right exactly. You, exactly. I mean, I mean, so far it. down the line. Yeah. So yeah, you need to focus on living first because Lisa. So blunt with you. And, and I don't want that for you. I don't, honey. I really don't. Your kids need you. And it doesn't matter how old they are or where they are or what you've done or what hasn't been done or whatever. There's still your kids and they want you and and it's it's not going to be like oh i'm going to rehab and and they're going to every big happy family absolutely not it's going to take years but the way that you can look at it is you can 10 years from now you can either be dead or still living in that apartment or or living on the street or whatever or you can be working on your relationship with your family and working on your health in 10 years whichever way that you want to put it so you know that's i'm done interrupting people i'm so sorry i'm done i'm driving i'm going to mute myself keep driving yeah, it's like though I'm not seeing for some reason what everybody else is seeing. Like I do under like I, I see the support and I get the emails. I get the nasty ones, but I get the great ones also. And I always try to respond. Um, but I get so much, you know. But um when Miss Ange Para Lee, um, the one that broke my glasses, when I seen her a couple of days later, she said to me, she said, um, she said, You don't because she started watching the TikTok, I guess, and she said you don't understand. She said, there is so many people on there. Like she said, is rooting for you and is behind you. She said that would give walk to the ends of the earth. She said to fucking help you get sober. She said, and I feel like you're flapping them in the face. And I was like, I, I agree. I said, I-, I agree, but I just don't. It's like yeah. real talk feels to you with all the love in the world. The reason you can't see it is because you're still living for that next Five, that next Absolutely. hit that next moment exactly exactly yeah, lisa on. you're sick you are very sick honey you are very <laughs> very sick and that's why you can't see it like, yeah and you're all right it's still the moment because if an hour ago you give me 20 bucks and i come back and ask you again and you won't give it to me you're a fucking bitch cunt right but you just an hour well, ago helped me so it's here's, in the, here's the thing if if someone gives you 20 dollars right now being totally honest, like that gut wrenching. I don't want to admit it to myself, honest. What are you going to go do with that money? Because I know what you're going to do with that money. Can you admit to me what you're going to go do with that money? It's, it's not about food. Is that, oh, like, you're, yeah, you're never exactly. going to be able to get better until you're willing to admit the ugly parts about yourself. Yeah, it's not that's food. What you would do. That's absolutely what it's, I would do with the money. A thousand percent. Or I, I'd spend 10 and go get cigarettes or something not healthy. Not healthy, right? So I don't want to, I mean, I don't think it's okay to just everybody sit and bombard her and tell her how sick she is. I mean, everybody can do what they want. No, absolutely. But I have a couple questions. Like, do you know why your TikTok was banned? Do you think TikTok's like trying to cut you down and get you out of I, here? Or was it violations of permanent bans or? Well, uh, here's what happened. I, I don't know exactly why, but my thoughts are I was getting reported because when the only thing how they always say we report in her, don't come back. Well, they figured out that I guess if you report when you come in the live, right, that about me section where I just say like, oh, I need help, whatever, PP and chime or whatever. Well, they were reporting that and it was coming back with a strike. OK, so they hit me with a bunch of strikes. For that and i had a count warning so i'm like okay so i appealed them got the some of them came back good and i got it back down i don't know what exactly happened the other day because i had no warning i had gotten the account warning gone like a week before that and then but they did say one more strike and your channel will be you know terminated so i don't know if somebody reported it again and got me the strike and bam because i wasn't on there yelling i had just gotten on if anybody was on there like i wasn't you know, so I'm not sure, but that's what I think happened. I got another strike because I'm not sure. But <laughs> uh, Lisa, can I ask you a question? Yeah, of course. Who is the other Kim? 
that you were talking about earlier. She is a mod for Victoria. And the person that Victoria is always saying, my friend, my, my friend that talks to Lisa, that's who. She's a friend of mine and she mods for Victoria. Okay. Um, is that how yeah. you met Victoria? On here? Yeah. I met her on here. Uh, I don't think it was through that, Kim. No, Victoria <laughs> met him through me because I was talking to her first. Um, and then she went to Victoria somehow and started talking to her and uh, is modding for her, which is more than fine. I just, yeah. Okay, sorry, that's my last button question. Okay, Lisa. How creeped out are you by Lori Jones and her weird fetish with you when it first um, came out? I'm very creeped out because when I first, she first like was making those videos, people started sending them to me. This is back when I actually talked to her. And I was like, oh, this is nice. Like, And I reached out and was like, thank you. Because anytime somebody makes a supportive video and I see it, I go in their messages and I'm like, Thank you for sticking up for me because I know they probably got slammed with hate, slammed. So I'm always like, thank you. I appreciate it. You know, um, that's what I did. I talked to this woman for half of a day, literally, from about 2 p.m. when I monitored her until about 2 a.m., okay? And she has been doing all this since, all of it. The lies and no. the go play. And, uh, What's that? Tracy, you're off mute. So sorry. My favorite other account is the lady who thinks you're that old lady. What Have you lady? seen that? <laughs> no, they were telling me about some lady that thinks there's that I wear a mask in my face. Grandma Bonnie. Yeah. Grandma yeah. Bonnie. Yeah. yeah, there's an older woman. <laughs> Grandma Bonnie. Grandma what, is Bonnie. That, is that yeah. joke or is she dead They kept ass? thinking it was no, you that because the filter crazy. was slipping. Yeah, that wow. woman's full on nuts. She believes that you guys are the same person. Uh, so, and yeah. I'm a gypsy or something. Yeah. Whoa. I thought she was joking. Like, seriously, like trying to get attention by joking and saying, Shadow's okay. Yes. I actually was talking on three way the other day with uh, Victoria and the other Kim. And um, I said to her, I said, I was upset at first because the pictures that were coming out were him looking aggressive and in his little stance. So I, I knew he was scared and it upset me a lot, a lot. And then when she did that live and he was like on her lap and licking her hand and stuff, I was really relieved because I was like, okay, he's, you know, <clears throat> getting in the groove and he's good. And it made me relax a lot about the situation. So, But you've seen the videos of him being like happy and out there like playing with other dogs and stuff like you, you've been able to see that stuff. Uh, yeah, I didn't watch like the lives or anything because I would get upset, but I did see, yes, I seen the video, I seen the one of him licking her hand, um, I seen, and people said, email me that too, right, um, all that stuff, so, yeah, I seen yeah. it, and like I said, at first I was really upset because that picture that came out of him, I was like, he's scared, he's, you know, and I was upset, but yeah, I said that to them, I said, now I'm, I'm, I'm not okay with it, but I'm, a little bit better about it because I just want him to be happy. Honestly, I really you, do. And you have to admit that right, right now in this, in, in these current circumstances where he is, is the best place for him. You have I to agree. admit that. Same with right. Jace. Same with Jace. Right. Yeah. right. Unfortunately, Absolutely. that's very, that. that is very, very, that, that is very, very big of you to be able to admit that. Yeah, I, I've always said that, like, unfortunately, I mean, at first I didn't admit it, but the more it went downhill, I was just like, oh, yeah. I'm so glad, you know, and I am because as much as it sucks and I miss him so much, um, he is better off. He's eating. He's clean. He's he's not going through the hell. You know what I mean? That, but, that's the, but the thing is, you can get him back, honey. You can yeah, get him back. I, you mm -hmm. just have to do the work. Nobody can do it for you. No, you're absolutely well, do right. Do you think that he would be better, like, do you, in your opinion? You think he'd be happier staying there? Or if um, you can get everything together? I mean, I'm sure you want your kid home. Yeah. Uh, once I get Even just to visit. Home. Even just to visit, you know? Yeah. Just, have, just to be in his life.
Yeah. Yeah, I mean, no, it's you're emotional right. when she's she's going through all this shit. I'm sure it's emotional as hell. And then she just wants to go numb it. That's Christmas, Christmas yeah. is coming, so you can get a new puppy for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. I just but yeah, that's it's it's a problem with the numbing and it's gonna be a problem when I go to rehab and get sober because it every time I'm sober for a day or two, all I do is cry, cry, cry because I'm like what the fuck did I do? This is a mess. You know what I mean? Like, it all just comes flooding in, unfortunately. So, like, I get what I did. I'm not immune to it. I understand what's going on. I, it's just, I don't know. I'm just like, it's already so downhill. Fuck it. Let's just keep driving down. You know, that's how well, I think of it, unfortunately, you know? Lisa, I, I'm still <laughs> fixing relationships with people, and I've been clean 11 years. Wow. So it takes time. Um, yep. so, so trust all that. Just do what you have to do. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta <laughs> get moving on something too because from the time I guess your child's removed, you have fifteen months to prove that you want them back and get them back. Are gonna do the work to get them back. And he got taken, I think, the end of April or May. Um. And he, we're, we're moving along and it comes up faster than you think. And my CYF worker even said, there's a lot of people that wait till the last minute and then try to get all of it done and they don't make it, you know, she's like, so you have to start because she was around for two investigations. She's like, I know you can get back to yourself. I know you can get them back. She's like, she just gets flustered with me because she's like, you, what the fuck are you doing? You know what I mean? What are you doing? And I was mad at her. I'm like, I don't know. Like I said, it didn't hurt her at all when she took him. And I'm like, well, I'm not listening to her. I'm not doing anything she says to do. All it did was hurt me and Jace. It didn't hurt her whatsoever. But I was just angry. That's all. Lisa, can you tell us what you did with the money that you collected for Shadow? You don't have to answer that question, Lisa. They're going right. to be recording it. Or actually, you don't have to answer any question you don't feel comfortable answering. Just say that if I don't feel comfortable answering that question. Lisa, are you sober today? Yes, I, I, I am. Um, since my main page went down, right, um, it's been a little rough, if you get what I'm saying. So... It's probably for the better. It's for the better. But it's been a little rough. Um, so, yeah, I absolutely am. Do you need um, 20 bucks? What's that? Oh, Do you need 20 bucks? No, oh I don't have 20 bucks, babe. <laughs> oh, okay. I already went to the clinic. Even if I got money for smokes, I wouldn't be able to get down there to get any cigarettes or anything right now. So, Where are you taking the Uber to? I have to get to... Uh, downtown, the Greyhound Station's downtown Pittsburgh. I'm actually looking for my, I had, I thought I had, unless Abby took them like bus, like one or two bus tickets. And I've been tearing my room up looking for them, seeing if they're expired because if I can find them, I'll get a bus. I don't have any cash either to get a bus, so I'm trying to look for these tickets. Lisa, you know if you have Medicaid, all you have to do is show them your access card. You can ride a PRT bus for free. Really? Yeah, you can. Hear. No, I did. I swear to God, I didn't know that. I thought that it had to be elderly people. No, she Medicaid offers to free tell you that for months in the chat, and you block everybody that tries to tell you that. What the they were talking? The bus they were talking about your apartment is a downtown route. Like, there's literally no excuse. You need zero dollars to get to the Greyhound station. I thought they were talking about the uh, like the cabs that come and pick you up. You know I, mean? I want to the... point out. I I want to point out also that I live in Lisa's county. I actually live like four miles from her, um, and I I know about all of the programs and everything as well. And what they said about the pat buses taking your Medicaid card is completely correct. Yeah, it's one hundred percent correct. I lived in Allegheny County for years. I live in Lawrence County now. I mean, I, I understand how it works too. So. I don't think Lisa came in here for everybody to jump on her and attack her. I think she gets enough of that shit. No, but she came in here 
It's either either this or she kills herself. Which one do you want? We can coddle her and she can go get more drugs and die. Or we can tell her the God's the honest truth and tell her that we care about, we truly do as human beings care about her and that we want her to get better. I mean, it's not going to get better if we coddle her. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it's true. I'm not coddle her, but being on the tack and fucking yelling isn't productive. Nobody's yelling at her, first of all. I don't know where you're No one is angry. You're the only one who's angry. Oh, my God, I had a lot of things. People have been getting on purpose. polite to Lisa, and I think you saying otherwise is you not listening to a conversation respectfully. Everybody calm down. It's okay. Lisa, say something so everybody will shut up. Lisa, does the sheriff show up to your door <laughs> Quiet. Well, Lisa, do you want to say bye? She could get back on her Lisa? Does she still need dog food? Because I got her. She needs some. She literally <laughs> does not have a dog. Are you even listening? Like, come on now. She doesn't have a dog anymore. She doesn't need dog food. Oh. Oh my, that's the point, guys. That's why he's asking the question. Lisa, yeah, um, I don't think there was listening. much security in that. Well, Lisa, she can get one for Christmas, so. Lisa, if you're listening, I just want to say, I hope you really do go to rehab this time because you're worth it. Your kids are worth it. Your life is worth it. And I just want you to realize your worth, um, regardless of what happens in the future. Um, you deserve happiness, and, and I just hope you get that. And you're running Amen. out of fucking time. Amen. She loves you. I think she left. Yeah, yeah I think that. she left. She left. She's gone. All right. Okay. She's had enough. Well, thank you, Kim, for setting this up. You're welcome. Have a good day. That was that was amazing. No, Thanks, this shit was fucked. <laughs> what the fuck? You people are being too nice to that crackhead bitch. I did not expect her to do this. In typical Lisa fashion, whenever the truth is laid out there, she just dips the fuck out because, you know, zero accountability. So Completely different attitude from that live she was just on, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She probably thought we were going to offer her money. Exactly. Does she need money? She needs zero oh, dollars. She always she needs, needs money. Walk out of her cesspool of an apartment, walk her ass across the street to the PRT bus stop, get on the bus, and go the fuck to rehab. That's what she needs to do. <laughs> she probably doesn't want to do that. Why would she want to do that? Then her easy life. Well, not it's not easy, but her life. She'd have to deal with everything she's done. I mean, I don't think we're ever going to know what the proper way to go towards Lisa is. So everybody just has their own opinions. And it's always going to blow up. You could take her right back. Sometimes you just got to let them go. You just could take her right back and put a bullet in her head. Like old yeller. Yeah. She just, she has no accountability because the people who she is surrounding herself with have no accountability. That's the problem. Yeah. Well, no, she's had consequences. She's had tons of consequences. Jace being taken was a consequence. Makes no changes. Yeah, because she right. surrounds herself with the people who make it okay for her not to make changes. Oh, it's okay. These things keep happening to you. No, bitch, it's not okay. These things keep happening to you. Like, what the hell are you doing? What are you doing? You have to realize that these things keep happening because one, the choices you make, and two, the person that you are, who you are being. Like, you are the mm-hmm. center of all of this. It's not everyone else. It's Lisa. Yeah, but she probably gets off on that. Mm-hmm. That's fucking... 
I don't know if she's the one getting off on it, but I could think of a couple others who surely do. I have a question. My question is, why why can we not let Lisa explain what she did with the donations from Shadow? Because she doesn't want to tell everybody what she did with that money. Because she got well over three hundred dollars that she smoked the fuck up and doesn't want to be accountable for that. That's exactly. That I understand. I just really we were so close to getting it from her that we just waited just like six or seven more seconds of silence. It would have come out. You know, you guys donated money to a meth head. There was. I didn't. They smoked it up. That's exactly. She was never going to. That's crazy. Who would have? Who would have thought that would happen? She was never going to answer. I straight asked her, like, if like, what she would do with it's not about food. D man, five hundred and forty-two dollars in thirteen days, and Victoria posted like screenshots of it. That's a lot of fat. You guys might have killed her. Wait, was that from Shadow's oh, donations, right. or is that just what she receives? Like, I think that was during the time of Shadow's donations, but she had transferred five hundred and forty-two dollars. I understand. To his cash app. No, I that was the Lisa's, Victoria of it all. I don't think Lisa's ever going to feel obligated to answer any questions, as long as there is always somebody who's like, "Oh, Lisa, poor baby, you don't have to do that." Because as soon as one person does it, then she thinks the whole chat feels that way. Sure, yeah. sure, that's understandable. That's fair. But I guess, I guess, yeah, the question from here on now is: is what do what do we do now? You know, if we see she's going to come back on TikTok, I I have a feeling in my heart that you know that. This was just something different out of character, but I don't think it's going to make her stop what she's normally doing. So, why? 